Hello, good morning everyone. Today I stand up before you to share my journey. I am a young entrepreneur. I'm just 27 years old. I'm running my company since seven years. It's an automotive cybersecurity. I started my company when I was third year of engineering. When I was in third year of, third year of engineering, I was teaching faculties what cybersecurity. So from that, from students to teachers and now entrepreneur. I want to share this incredible story to you. A story about belief and dedications that I have. Imagine, imagine you are, imagine today's world where cars are not just a machine. It's a sophisticated computers on wheels. Now, simply imagine you're driving a car on a highway at a speed of 100 km per hour. A hacker can remotely apply brake. Why? Because all cars are nowadays connected to internet. So this internet connectivity creates in the opportunities for innovation and convenience. Although it is a challenging for cybersecurity. Just imagine what if a hacker will apply remote brake when you are driving a vehicles. What will happen? It is directly proportional to a human life, yes? So, my company provides these solutions. We provide automotive cyber security solutions. This is a whole background about the, the concept. There is a, a UNICEF who have a compliance of automotive cyber security. We are the few among this industry who provide automotive cyber security solutions. I am Vikas Chaudhary, founder and CEO of Hackers Era. It started in 2015 from one bedroom apartment. Now we are a team of 50 individual talented people who are working for a company, who are working for a country, who are working for a human lives to save, create better digital futures. I would like to share you, in initial days, we had a lot of lack of fundings, lack of money, lack of resources, lack of talented people. I started learning and exploring cybersecurity. From that, from that, I have created one courses. The courses have bought, I mean, the people have, three million people have bought that courses. When I was in final year of engineering, I released that courses. It is in 2018. Three million people have bought that course. From that course, I am still getting benefits. Now, when I started this company, I labeled as a trainers. This was my, my challenging goals because I started making courses. So I labeled as a trainer, but my vision was not to be a trainer. My vision was to be a entrepreneur who can provide some services or solutions or a product. So we stopped the training fields, then we jumped onto the service sectors. Now we are the leading automotive cybersecurity providers. We are located in Delaware, USA, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Our headquarter is in Pune, India. We have been rewarded as a rising star of India, entrepreneur of the India by Goa Co Commerce Chamber, Chamber of Commerce. And I am labeled as a Microsoft top 100 security researcher over the world in 2018. My rank is 51. This was my personal journey. So I have a mixed kind of journey from personal to technology. I grown up in a rural area of India. You want to hear name? Yes. I am a small district in Bihar. I born up over there. From there, I had no access to computers even. Forget about the technology. From there, I have created one a rising company who is still delivering the best into automotive. You just name the car and we have work on that. So we are securing cars. 
This is all happened because I had belief and dedications. I had so just just remember Indian mentality, Indian parents mentality in the early days. Now it's changed. Now it's a wave of startups. They wanted me to settle, just take a job and get settled in life. But my goal was not that. My vision was not that. I wanted to do something. I wanted to provide, uh, uh, basically provide uh, uh, people's jobs. I wanted to serve country. So I work in a different, uh, different areas. So uh, this, this is the story of me. When I started, I had a lot of issues in the financial cash crunches. As a young entrepreneur who just, who just graduated from engineering colleges, who have no knowledge of business, who have no family background of business, I started. I started learning those things. I started learning business tactics. I started exploring peoples. I started exploring talents. And now we are here. We are providing top-notch services in a country, outside country. Most of the clients are from outside India. We are, we are trying very hard to awareness about automotive cybersecurity to the Asian markets. And there is a lack of compliance, lack of regulatory. But the, my idea is one day we'll have safer vehicles. We can drive without, without any risk. So this is my whole idea. I want you to pay attention that when you start a business, when you start a business or when you are in college, obviously you had no idea where to go. I just want you to focus on your goals, focus on your dreams, take risk, do hustle is necessary, yes, do hustle, take risk. Don't listen to anyone, grew up, don't, don't give up. This, this is the idea that I want to convey you. From one bedroom apartment, from one, one people venture, now we are a 50. We may be 100, we may be 500. So that, that is the future goals that I'm carrying right now. My company is listed in, in the Delbar, USA. My company is uh, in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia since three years. We are doing great business over this. We want to hire peoples. Most of the people from India, the Indian minds, it's a, it's a brilliant minds. And I believe on this because I, I know myself. So I believe on it. I just want to, to, to share that once you jump into, into it, once you jump into something, whether it's a learning, whether it's academic, whether it's a profession, whether it's a business, whether it's a, anything, any business, you go till end, don't stop, just go to finish it on a well conditions. Thank you. Thank you for listening to my story. Thank you for inviting me.